Well guys, today is gonna be an interesting one. Every now and then I come across something on the internet that leaves me not really knowing how to feel about it. And instead of just being a normal person and forgetting about it, I decide to bring it to you guys. So about a week ago, I saw a news article about a TikTok of a woman feeding her one-year-old daughter donuts for breakfast. Apparently it was a really big deal and people all over the internet were up in arms about it, enough for, you know, news articles to be written about it. So I decided to go through this woman's TikTok page and after doing so, I'm a little bit conflicted. It seems like this woman has been doing these kinds of videos for quite some time at this point, where she records herself making her kids lunch, and a lot of the meals she makes don't really seem to be that bad. A lot of them aren't great either, don't get me wrong, but it seems like people took these two videos where she did give her kids donuts and tried to turn her into this, like, demon. I've seen some other people make videos on this woman, people from the, uh, we'll say the more unsavory side of the YouTube commentary community, so I wanted to get on here and give my thoughts, and more importantly, see what you guys thought about this situation, because people seem very split. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Alright, so from what I understand, this is sort of the video that started it all. It might be a different one, there are two videos where she's feeding her children donuts for breakfast, but I think it's this one. And I've gotta be honest here, maybe it's because I was a fat kid, or maybe it's because I'm not a father, but my honest reaction to seeing this the first time was like, who cares? Like really, am I wrong in thinking that giving your kid a donut for breakfast like once a month is really not that big of a deal? Now look, once I went to this woman's page and saw that most of the things she's feeding her kids are not that great. That sort of changes my thought process. But like this video with no extra context, is that really that big of a deal? Alright, so this is the meal, if you can really call it that, and like I said, in a vacuum with no other context, I feel like this really isn't the end of the world. I'm kind of surprised this video got as much traction as it did. Now, if every video this woman uploaded was her feeding her kids something like this, I could understand it, but I feel like this is slightly blown out of proportion. It's not good, don't get me wrong, and we'll talk more about that here in a minute, but I do feel like people's horses are a little extra high today, not gonna lie. Okay, you know what? For some reason, I feel like this one is worse. I don't know, man. I don't like the way these donuts are looking at me. Store-bought donuts like this are always horrible. Am I the only one who feels this way? I have donuts like twice a year, and they're gonna be from a place that sells nothing but donuts. That's the only way to get a donut. Otherwise, they just won't taste right. This plant protein thing again that I tried yesterday. She didn't like it just flat out alone. Um, I think a couple people suggested to do it in smoothies. That's what my girlfriend said. But I'm not doing a smoothie right now. So I'm going to try to mix it with her regular milk that I usually give her and see if she doesn't notice. She might not notice if it's mixed with regular milk. And then I'll just put the rest away and try it again if it works. Alright, so I googled it, and after a lot of research, aka reading the first thing that popped up, a one-year-old needs about 13 grams of protein every day. So, uh, why? Are we making this kid a protein shake? You dumped at least 12 ounces of milk into that bottle, and that's already like 10 grams of protein? Are we trying to get this kid into the thousand pound club before they reach high school? I mean, what's going on here? I'm trying to go easy on you here, but uh, maybe just do a little bit of research on what your child needs diet-wise. Just a suggestion. All right, so now that you've seen those, in the background, I'm gonna play some of her other TikToks that I found to not be as offensive, but let's talk about why I'm sort of torn on this subject. So let's address the elephant 
elephant in the room real quick. If this woman was not overweight and was making these videos in a fancy modern kitchen, I don't think people would care about this. I don't. And you can say I'm wrong. You can argue with me about this, but uh, I'm right. Okay, now before you go to the comments and go crazy, hear me out because I'm not even really saying this in defense of this woman. Obesity is something that is passed down. It is a way of life that you learn as a child and once you've learned it, once you've lived it, it is very hard to grow out of. And this woman is obese, okay? I know that weight is something that is pretty uncomfortable to talk about these days, sort of always has been, but I'm not saying this to bring anybody down or bully anybody. It is simply something that is true in this situation. And that is why people are so upset about what this woman is feeding her children. And for good reason. There's been a million studies on it before. I don't remember the exact numbers, but you can go and find many yourself. But studies have found time and time again that if you have obese parents, you have something like a 70 to 80% chance to be obese yourself. Now look, you guys know I'm pretty progressive. I like to have an open mind, but as a person who was obese as a child and a person who takes their physical health pretty seriously, obesity and being overweight in general is not good for you. I am not gonna ever tell you that. I don't like that. That is a thing people say now. Body positivity, I'm all for it. Nobody should be out here shaming people for the way they look or making fun of them. But at a certain level, it has nothing to do with how you look. It's just about the actual implications of how much you weigh, what you're walking around with, what you're putting your heart through. And it's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. And the younger it's introduced to you, the harder it is to overcome it. And that is why I think so many people are upset with these videos and I fully understand it. It seems like this woman is trying. I mean, I watched a bunch of her videos and a lot of her meals are fine. They're pretty well balanced. They've got a lot of different things going on. But at the same time, there's often a lot of processed food. There's some junk food always thrown in somewhere. So it's not perfect. And obviously nobody's going to be perfect. But there's a lot of work that could be done for this woman's children's diet. And I think a lot of people are picking up on that, which is why these videos got so much traction. But these people are forgetting about hand razor, which basically states don't attribute malice to what could be explained by stupidity. And I'm not trying to call this woman stupid, I'd rather use the word ignorant, but I feel like a lot of people commenting on this woman's videos are acting like she's doing this on purpose. And of course she's not feeding her kids this stuff on accident, but I feel like this woman at this point probably just doesn't know any better, which is unfortunate, but attacking her is not going to help her out. If you really feel bad for these kids, try and make a positive difference. I did a little bit of digging around and unsurprisingly, this woman is from the South, which is where I'm from, which also happens to be where obesity is the worst in the United States. And unfortunately, stuff like this is really not that uncommon. A lot of parents are just stupid. They don't know any better. They probably shouldn't have had kids in the first place and they will just feed their child anything to shut them up. And that's how they're raised. Making sure your kid has a balanced diet, teaching them about nutrition, making sure they know how to balance their lifestyle and their nutrition, all of that is an afterthought at best. Most of the time it just doesn't even happen. And it leads to stuff like this. It leads to those children growing up and having children of their own and thinking this is just the way you do it. So I understand the anger people have for this woman, but also like I was saying earlier, if you're gonna spend the time leaving a comment on this person's page, why not try and be genuinely helpful? Is it your job? Absolutely not. Do you owe it to this woman? No, you don't. But if you're gonna say you feel so sorry for these children and you're so sad for them, why not throw out a word of advice to try and actually make a real difference so you don't have to feel sorry for them. Unfortunately, for some people, that's not going to make much of a difference. And I think that might be the case here because instead of trying to improve her children's diet, what this woman has done is what a lot of people do when they find themselves in a position like this online. They make their entire personality having a bunch of quote haters, and then they try and capitalize off it as much as possible. I'm not joking when I tell you that after all of this happened, this woman made a gaming TikTok page. No, I'm serious. So uh, on second thought, after talking all of this out, getting these thoughts out loud in the open, uh, I think I've decided I do not like this lady. I'm on the side of the internet here. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? What do you think about the donut fiasco? I honestly started this video sort of expecting to end up defending this woman, but the more I think about it, the more I watch, the more it just makes me mad that people have children and then refuse to do things correctly. I know that feeding three children costs a lot of money, and a lot of people are like, 
like freaking out over the fact that she feeds her children chicken nuggets, which like that I think is kind of silly. But like also maybe don't include Cheetos with every single meal you feed your toddler. You know, just a thought. But hey, I'm not a parent, so uh, what do I know? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Thank you.